Hello, everybody, and welcome to another edition of Poland Daily Travel. Thanks for being with us this evening. Must say you're looking well. And speaking of looking well, Nicholas Richardson, resplendent. Thank you. As, you, as usual. I think your, your, your show needed a little lifting. In a little uh, a sartorial uh, exactly. uh, display. Yeah. And, and, and you always provide that. I do. I do. And you're known for providing that. Indeed. All our loyal fans. Um, the, uh, your mother is watching, right? Um, from beyond. From beyond, yes. <laughs> yes, it'll be a bit hard for her to be With watching. With my father. <laughs> yeah. They're, they're together watching from beyond. Richardson's in heaven. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Patrick Patterson. Yes, there you are. Where Where is this? We're inside the monastery. This is a St. Michael's monastery, and, and I will I will go in and I will let you do the commentating. Um, okay, this is downtown enter, Kiev. So. With Patrick Patterson, who's our correspondent there. He's going to take us into the church and be quiet and just let us... Ah, oh, that's amazing. Wow, Patrick, that's... Okay, we see this rather Byzantine altarpiece, classic Byzantine Virgin Mary, I believe that is, and different from what you see in the, in the uh, non-Orthodox churches, the Catholic churches, Church of Rome. Uh, here we have, uh, I suppose that's, well, that's back out the, the entrance. That was the nave we saw before he felt he should run back out. Okay, thanks for that glimpse, Patrick. Absolutely. We're back out in the courtyard now. Patrick, what will you be doing for the rest of the day? You didn't get much sleep last night because you were talking to me at 3 a.m. or 4 a.m. for you, or maybe it was earlier, uh, and there were missiles going off. Uh, how long was the barrage last night? Two hours off and on? The main barrage is probably, you know, 30, 40 minutes, but um, the uh, the air siren and with the drones that came in afterwards, um, I think all in all, it was up for maybe like four hours. So I, the sun was up when I when I tried to, to go to sleep, um, but you know, un unfortunately, the sound of an elevator or the sound of a, a car right now is is pretty uh, uh, triggering. Um, you know, all those all those feelings come back right now. So when you hear a loud noise, it reminds you of yesterday evening or early Absolutely. morning. Absolutely. Yep. Yeah. Is it getting? Does it get worse for you, or does it get better? Yeah. You, you know, you think it would get better, but um, I, I think with um, since October, uh, it's it's actually getting worse, um, and, and I, I think that the false sense of security of, of even though right now Kiev, the city of Kiev has a 100% interception rate of, of these missiles, it's still loud. And, and when these missiles get hit, they, they land um, and they cause fires and they, 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 they still kill people when they fall out of the sky, um, just less. So for me, it's gotten, it's gotten worse. How, was anyone killed last night? Do we know? No, not, not in Kiev. That's amazing that they are, the Russians are sending over so many missiles, so many drones, most of them, if not all of them, being intercepted last night and the biggest barrage so far of the war, and no one was killed. So what's the objective? Terror? It seems to be working if that's the case. I mean, certainly, uh, you know, I think the, on the flip side, there's so many other cities in, in Ukraine that, you know, that you could probably have a, have a better success rate of, of getting projectiles in. Um, but there's definitely something symbolic about uh, sending missiles to Kiev versus, say, uh, Cherniv or, um, you know, it, even with when Eurovision started uh, playing this week, um, they started bombing Ternopil, where the singer is from. So there's, there's always something symbolic when, when Russia does something, whether it's a date or a time or 
Um, they're trying to send a message. Uh, that's what I've learned since since being here. Right. So the question the question remains: uh, If you want to go to Kiev, you have to ask yourself why and how you're able to uh, survive there. Uh, you know, at least mentally. Uh, you, you know, go to the shelter when the siren goes off, and uh, you'll, you'll be safe. Okay, that's all we got time for. Patrick Patterson, take a bow. Thank you very much, sir. Love the, the, the costume, 110-year-old costume you're wearing. Beautiful. And thank you for being with us, Patrick. I'll talk to you a, a bit later, privately. Thank you. And... Uh, Mind how you go, Patrick. Okay, I want to thank Nicholas Richardson for Always being a here. Uh, and uh, I want to thank you for watching. Uh, that's all we have for tonight. See you tomorrow.